But now comes the process of installing the MOSFET. Here, roughly right in there is where this unit is going to go. Right there. That's what we want. As of right now, it does not look like the anti the uh, safety latch is going to uh, get in the way of anything. However, I just want to take a closer look. From what I can tell, it's it doesn't look like it's going to be bumping into any sensors or anything like that. So we should be okay. We will be testing this. I have the uh, USB link that will allow me to program and test this both via their application on the cell phone and also on the software with the computer. Just for both demonstration purposes and from simplicity, I'm going to be doing it on the computer. More on that later. Oh. Get the installation kit and from here we've got our stickers now if you have a black color selector plate these ones right here might be needed or even with a selector plate like I have one that should bounce the uh, signal back I might need to use this hence why we're going to do the testing before I get everything else built Need the mounting screws first, and there's two different ones. There's a 2 and a 2.5. Now one thing to make note is there is a circle, and the arrow is pointing at it, where exactly that screw is. Because there's a couple of different holes, but if you see that white arrow right there, that's where we put the screw in. So that's point number one. Point number two, when you open this kit, you're going to have a couple different uh, washers. Um, a couple metal ones, and there's one that's going to be black in color. This is more of a rubber. This goes first. And in the instructions, it says it, and I will repeat it again. This goes first. If you put the metal one down first, you're probably going to damage it, and it won't work my guess. I'm honestly not going to test that theory, I just know that this plastic one goes first and that's what I'm going to do. All right. Now you come with two additional washers, the silver and color ones. These are for spacing. Um, on the back side of the gearbox it's possible that the screw uh, head might protrude. I was able to get that uh, screw in. Luckily enough for me, I only needed that um, rubber washer and one of the metal ones. Now when you're putting this in, go slow with it, and you want it to be snugged so like this doesn't move. You don't want to over tighten it because you will probably crack the board. Now the next thing I need to do is on the opposite end of the gearbox, so just slide this over for a second. This area right in here that one of these stickers needs to go into. And according to the manual right here is where that sticker needs to go. I've seen some people shave this down. If I have to, I will, but I, one, I really don't want to, to be honest, and two, if, why create extra work about me too. So now that I have the sticker in here, um, before you put this in, make sure you work the inside of your gearbox down. Get rid of any dirt, grease, oil, all that stuff will cause it to be a problem for it to stick. I did notice upon trying to put this in, it, it's a couple spots, it's not holding as well as I'd hoped. That could be one of the reasons why everyone's gotten rid of this little bump here. Now for the next step, um, you get the wires out of the way and I'm going to be putting in the trigger unit so we can get the box temporarily put together and um, put it through the program, test it, calibrate it, etc. Just as the other stuff, take your time, slowly run everything down, keep in mind when you do put your wires, the ones that cross over here, that's where your uh, motor is going to be coming in. So just make sure that you push those down as far as you can. Some gearboxes actually have a little slit in there that uh, you can 
from down even further, that's nice, but this one just does not have that. There's the sensor right in here for the trigger. Um, I'll try to get a close up of it, but right in there. I'll get a picture that I'll put on screen and highlight, but just right on my finger, there's that little yellow looking thing. That's the um, sensor that the trigger comes across, and that will let it know when you're firing and whatnot. So install the trigger. Uh, this is the upgraded one that I put in. Initially I had um, a little curved stock one, but I like this one. Better trigger response and so forth. So I'm going to see if this is going to do okay in here. Pre-check it without the, the latch. Now, as of right now, all systems go. I'll try to get the little close up here. You can see just the top of that, the trigger, there's this little lip right here. And then when you look underneath, you can see the sensor, that yellow thing right underneath that, the black wire. And when this crosses over right about there, that's where it's going to start to read the sensor. The spring is installed. Um, depending on your gear racks, they vary a little bit. Um, some triggers have the spring on what would be its left side, some are on the right side. Um, that's just one thing you want to make note when you turn your gearbox apart. Look at how that spring is before you take it out. Just a tidbit. So now I just want to do kind of a functions test. Now that I've got it in here, I'm just holding it down so it doesn't pop out. And pulling this through and got some movement, we're good. Safety latches up. Good. Okay. So, put it down here. Yep. We got movement, no problem. When I put the, what would be your safety? I know it's hard to see with the way it's set up, but that won't go anywhere. Push that down. Now we got plenty of play. So, functionality test. Good to go. Trigger is now put in. Uh, one thing to know with your gearbox is the direction and style of the trigger and the spring to hold it in place. The next thing we need to do to test the other sensors is there is a sensor that comes across these two uh, gray guys right here, right between that um, the bearing, this one right here, this one right here. That is for your sector gear. And what that does is that lets it know when it's done its rotation. So get a good sight on here. So this guy right here on your sector plate, this is what would catch on that safety latch that we removed earlier. Well, this is what is going to trip the sensor here to let it know that it's done a rotation. Um, on a different gearbox I had that actually had a magnet on it because the MOSFET had a little sensor and that was how it let it know that it did a rotation. So these sensors we want to check as well. Now one thing to note is per the manual for this MOSFET, I'm just trying to find it right now, is that that sensor has a certain interaction that it can see. One thing it's trying to tell us here is don't put too many shims that to where it won't be able to uh, see that. I'm trying to get to my shims here. And I will put one here. Get that into place. And now we're good to go here. I'll get the uh, gearbox put together. So I'll get this here, put a couple screws in, and then we'll go to the programming.